push-ups, press-ups, whatever you want to call them, have been around for years. It is one of the staple exercises that anyone can do anywhere. Whether you're locked up in solitary confinement on your own, you can still do these and get a great workout in. And some people use it as their primary source of well-being and health. Just like this apple I picked up earlier. And people think no matter what you do, you're doing it correctly. Well, let me tell you, you're not. Without turning this into some great big lecture, I'm going to show you some best ways to optimise your push-up technique and get the most out of the exercise. First things first, just doing some push-ups is going to make a big difference. It's a great exercise not only for your chest, but your triceps, your core and also your back. So it really is a full body exercise. As you can see here, I want my arms to be directly in line with my shoulders. And for a lot of people, that means bringing the hands backwards. This is going to push your head forward over your hands, but also just keeps the most efficient line. Then when lowering yourself, you want your elbows to go back at a 45 degree angle instead of flaring out wide. This may feel relatively tucked in, and will also continue to activate the tricep effectively, especially at the top end of the motion. In having the hands lined up, that means when your chest comes to the floor, your hands will be in line with your sternum rather than your upper chest. Coming to the top, you want to squeeze it fully, making sure your arms are fully extended and then lower down slowly. Slow negative, fast contraction. Meanwhile, getting a great squeeze. What you need to imagine is a giant orange in between your pecs and you want to freshly squeeze the juice out of the orange. A strange analogy, but it works wonders. Alternative push-ups are the wide grip. Again, keeping the good form, you extend your hand position to double shoulder width increasing the tension across the pecs. Bringing your hands in to a close grip, you can keep your hands in a diamond shape, lower down, making sure your hand comes to your sternum, and also remember not to flare your elbows too much, and then come all the way to the top, locking out those triceps. Another thing to remember is keeping a solid core foundation. Not raising your butt up, but bringing the butt down as if you're in a planking position and keeping the core tight. Another classic way of making push-ups harder is to add weight. So a weighted push-up is a great progression tool. In this instance, I use a plate on my back, which you can quite simply put on when kneeling down and then shrug off. Just remember not to drop it on your hands though. Having a weighted variation will also accentuate the core effect because you need to keep that core nice and tight to stop the weight pushing your stomach down. Finally, a push-up variation that the world record holder in the bench press, Julius Maddox, has found really effective are short spring push-ups where you don't fully lock out and you keep the tension on the pecs. He does this in particular to make sure the explosive movement when bench pressing the bar from the chest in that lower half is really, really explosive. A great method to use if you do want to increase your bench press. Hopefully you found these tools useful. This has been my push-up guide, the most versatile exercise in the world. You can do it anywhere, anytime, any place, and there's a great way to work out your entire body. Please leave a like and subscribe, and I will see you later. My name's Ben. Peace out.